Hello fellow gamers, this is Rod Drumba with a, another new camera gear. Uh, recently I got upgraded to the Samsung Galaxy Z Zip, or Z Flip 5 or whatever it's called, but pretty much it's a good phone, the camera quality is great, and I do enjoy using the phone every so often. It, it's a great phone, as you can see the motion is clear, you get a 60 FPS frame difference in comparison but it's it's a decent phone uh recently i just got my union uh newsletter basically they're having meetings somewhere in chicago but usually i work for the union basically workers union at my local workplace it's a great place to work it's it taught me some experiences on how to manage a store but i'm not a manager yet but if I was, I'd probably have to work more hours in order to get the uh, manager position or upgrade my pay, basically. If I wanted to take seriously into my career, I will st still work at my workplace. I do enjoy it. I don't know if I'm going to stay there for another year. I'd feel like quitting, but sometimes uh, you don't want to give up quitting your job and immediately after moving, you know, like moving stresses me out. And with the move I'm doing this year is I have to figure out how I'm going to move to this another location. I could move out to Stokey or Evanston or move out of this apartment, get rid of the roaches or stay here for another year. I can't. I can't make this decision on my own and usually the difficulties on moving, I gotta move all this stuff, you know, like my furniture, my plants, my coat rack, like everything, including the couch. But I want to deal with the infestation issue I've been having for years, like the roach problem that I have currently at my apartment. Like I've noticed that there's less roaches in my unit now. Since I've been treating the shit out of it, like I've been using uh, GMOs or something, or or capsules, those uh, portable ones, like they're you break the capsule and release a bunch of chemicals where the roaches can't repopulate. But I got two of them behind the fridge, and usually I use like a lot of them to get rid of the roaches, but they're still some roaches staggering around near other units upstairs and downstairs i've also noticed that the top stairs is the worst one to have and also my neighbor from next door uh has a mice infestation or a mice infestation i don't know if i have a mouse infestation but definitely i could have to check that out i also have bait traps for the mouse in case I need to get rid of mouse or rats. If I have a rat problem, then that's going to be taken seriously. Uh, luckily, I don't have a bed bug issue or a lice issue or anything other than that. Just the only infestation I currently have is a roach infestation. And it's been taking a long time to um, get rid of these fucking roaches. Because I noticed that they're all sacrificing themselves to the glue traps that I put in the sink. They're mainly coming out of the sink in my kitchen and bathroom. But when I put like two of those uh, uh, GMOs or something, those uh, capsule things. I don't know what's it called, but let me uh, let me show you what I use for uh, gestural or something. Uh, insect growth IGR. I use these little capsule things. And I've noticed that there's no more roaches in the bathroom as there was in the kitchen. But let me show you. This is the kitchen. Uh, no roaches inside the cabinet anymore. If I seen some, I would put some over there. I put a gastro control shirt near the kitchen sink where they're right next to this uh, pipe. There's no roaches in there. And it's been... Doing all right. I also put one behind the sink where they attract to the sink. I also put glue traps underneath the radiator because they do like the heat. And I also put a bunch of glue traps in here. Uh, there's a glue trap there. A gastro control place right there next to the microwave. 
My uh, kitchen's a mess. Usually I've been cleaning the dishes. And the only roaches I've seen are left is in the sink, basically. I haven't seen any roaches in here, but I have seen tiny babies in the sink. And I have two glue traps on the side and a glue trap over there. Uh, pretty much I'm dealing with this infestation for about two years. And I've been using uh, this stuff. Uh, I've been using that a lot. I haven't used it recently, but I do need to refill it on it. And there's a fucking roach. There's not as many roaches as of now, but there was a whole lot worse than a couple days, a couple weeks ago. But it has reduced dramatically. And I have a, one of those liquid bait traps from Hotshot and one behind there. Uh, pretty much I'm still trying to get rid of the infestation. They all hang out behind the refrigerator near the crack in that cabinet and shit. So the, they coming in from the cabinets underneath the fridge. That's where all the roaches like to hang out at. And currently, I also put, like, this is my medication table where I put where my prescription drugs are at. Uh, I normally put a gastro control point right there in the kitchen. And also one in the cabinet. So it gets rid of uh, roaches. But there's not a whole lot of roaches left in here. Probably in a few days, they might be gone. Uh, pretty much... Um, this infestation has been going on for too long, but I have noticed a reduce in population as of recently. Not a whole lot left, just the babies that are repopulating and all that. Luckily, I think I killed off the whole hive that were breeding in the sink. So yeah, they always get food in the sink, but pretty much this is my bedroom. They always go near this fish tank. My fish tank's kind of dirty as of now. The uh, fish tank, I have to clean it, take rid of the algae. There's currently no fish inside of it. So I've just been letting it grow out with the algae bloom and might have to buy fish soon. I, I think if I test the water now, it'll be probably ever since no ammonia, no nitrate, probably a high rate of nitrate because I don't have the fish tank, but. I've been too lazy on taking care of fish, and it's just like, uh, yeah, all my shrimp died or something, but I don't know if they're still alive or something, but there could be a possibility that they're alive, but I, I gave up on fish taking care of, so I, I went too depressed to take care of fish, and because of my work, I've been too busy to take care of the fish. So I don't have any fish left over, so even the shrimp. There's probably shrimp in there, or probably snails, but there was a snail infestation in that tank, but I haven't seen snails in that tank in a long time. Maybe all the shrimp ate them. But yeah, that's currently what my uh, apartment's like uh, with the roach problem. Uh, they could be some more underneath the fridge, or some in the... Uh, it looks like I have rabies. I don't know, but that's pretty much it. So I hope you enjoyed this content. I'll keep you guys posted on my new uh, Galaxy Z Flip 5 that I paid over a thousand dollars for, but I did get a payment plan with Amazon. So I'm paying like 200 bucks per month to keep this phone for five months. But that's a good deal instead of Instead of like, you want to buy it now, you could buy it now. Uh, I could pay off the whole phone right now, but I don't want to. I want to earn some income and pay a part payment plan so I could at least have like some money left over from working and getting Social Security. Usually I have to pay it out of my own bank account for my job. My sister won't let me uh, buy the phone with my Social Security check, so I paid it with my own money. From my work and luckily it was able they were able to do something for me with the um, with the uh, payment plan with Amazon so it's usually Amazon payment but I also pay it through my credit card so I paid about 500 bucks credit card payment just now so yeah uh, the phone's great 
uh, might get some earbuds or a new hard drive, but I haven't decided if I want to get a new um, new solid state drive for my computer. I need to get a four terabyte solid state drive, the eight fifty cubo or something. I want to get a eight terabyte, but I'm gonna go with the four terabyte for now. But yeah, that's pretty much it for today. So thanks for watching and bye.